Out of me. Well, I think that G2 are looking to excite me here today. I didn't have the first-hand experience of getting them to see their tournament over there at Blast. So let's kick it off in fashion. It's going to be utility for Hunter and Jax. Kit for him and flashes. And over towards A, NIP go immediately. We want to see the Swedish team bounce back as well. Nice little nade onto Hampus' head. And quickly up alley they go, straight onto the site. Already a light peppering into the dome of Twist. Now, Bomb needs to go down. That's Plopsky just tucking into the default plant. There is no stack nades here, so they'll be playing for the retake. Hunter has a smoke for the bomb here. I think that's where they should smoke use it. Smoke and kit, powerful mix, and flashes as well to get them up into the site. You can see the, fl the smoke flying through the sky now. How do you contest this as a T? I'd have to go for a knife kill here, Plopsky. Not too many options. Oh, they're swinging in. Oh, there's so many targets. I'm intimidated. I've got the advantage of seeing through the walls. Jax with the kit on it. Plopsky's trying to force him off. He does. Knocks him off the perch. Kit is on the bomb. It's all on to Nork. If he can kill Kenny, he's won the round. He's looking for it. He's trying to body block it. Kenny gets off the bomb and they win it. Ugh. The ugliest round of Counter-Strike I've cast today. Nork goes down with the bomb. Everybody dead. Everyone defeated. NIP pick up the first. Wow, only moments in that one. You can see how close Jax was to finishing. Look at this. Who was it? It's Hunter. Just straight up. Get down, Mr. President. Trying to keep his body soaking up the bullets. And he did get him so low. It oh. looks like from 20 to 15. I wonder if Kenny just sat that if he would have continued to whiff. There couldn't have been too many bullets left in that pistol. as oh, frustration to start things off. And I feel like we're going to get a banger collection of reactions from Kenny in this one. Scout up, forced by from G2, and looking to bounce back here. Early utility exchanged over towards the B lobby, as Nico, the big man on campus, poised with the Deagle. Some nades set up as well, down towards Forklift Room. And, well, the cousins. If you don't know the storyline between the two of them, Hunter and Nico are, in fact, cousins. Some lovely pictures of them together when they were much younger, playing the old Counter-Strike 1.6. And both extremely good aimers in their own rights. Bang. Ay, ay, ay. Nico's Deagle's not quite up to snuff today. Not to twist long range Mag 10. We are cooking. Quite literally, as the flames do arrive, Hunter spurred forwards. Low twist. Could be a clean headshot. Is a clean headshot. And retreat is an option. Gets smoked off, practically helping him on his retreat. But it does mean they concede short. Oh, they've actually started to Ooh, rotate. Bang. Look at that. Over. Very effective. Does deter Hunter from playing on that float position. Oh, can he get a tag off? He did. It's a risky fight to be taken. He's just putting mad smoke shots in now. Nork eventually is the one to find and win the smoke jewel. Hello, I can see your head res. And it doesn't really benefit Hunter all too much. So, with the bomb down and... A oh. eagle headshot from Jax. G2 are going to go for this. Nork was tagged by Kenny Scout earlier. Maybe that will have some ramifications. Another tag and a push. Jax's dig is huge. One more bullet. He's so low and he can't hit the shot. Kenny get sprayed down. I've got Groundhog Day moment here from Nork. Two rounds in a row. He has left with a round victory for his squad from short, no less. Wow, that was a very, very close one there. So sketchy. Yeah, Jax with a couple of bangers here. If he had the third, yeah, you might say this is why Jackie Boy should be in the team. There's the second and mantling up and over. Couldn't get the frag. Very close stuff there. Down to two because Kenny had the scout. Called midair and North with a good spray control. So it will be the eco from G2. They're not opting to keep this one competitive. They want to take the save and an early nade over towards the B lobby again. This time, pressure from Hampus taking space and calling this out to the rest of his unit. Look how much I would... Hampus has taken. Yeah, I couldn't believe how far he went without any single bullets being thrown his way. Does he go for it? I like it, Hampus. But brownie points for risk. Does he net the reward? He's already been tagged down. I don't know how brave he feels like being. Well, no issues. He knows where Kenny is. And Hunter's about to get swung on by Plopsky. Or not. Yeah, nothing. An absolutely flawless round. And the fact that it's all SMG frags bar res, no one's complaining. Hampus gets 1,200. Plopsky gets the same. And we get to see our first gun round out of G2. Kenny S. Now, I want to bring that topic up early, Chad. Mm. I think it's an important one to, to, to raise, especially with the CT sides, that 
Kenny S statistically has been falling off of a cliff for G2 over the course of the closing stages of this year. Yeah, there was a patch and that was just after Cologne, I believe, for G2 where it was just red in that column. They were not doing well whatsoever. Loss after loss after loss. And until this roster change came in, it was looking dire. I think they're out of motivation. And Kenny, he is one who needs that motivation to perform to a serviceable level. With Nico in the team, it gives him a little bit more luxury. He's not just the only star name in this squad anymore. It is just very cool to see uh, Cousins united at the top of their game. Completely unique and independent paths taken to get in the same jersey. I love it. I absolutely do, Hunter. I can't believe he gets away with murder. Takes the head off Rez. Be careful with the run back here. Yeah, they like to wall bang it. And all right, he gets to live and MIP get a chance to retool. They have enough utility to go for another A set piece. The smoke's towards the back of the site and mollies as well. Smoke is a very, very powerful one. You basically have to respect it. You're fully exposed in that uh, kind of groin region, for lack of a better word. Here they come. I'm sketched out by CT's positioning. They're so in flux. That's the shot Kenny was waiting for. An independent duel given to him by Plopsky. And while trying to take space on B, Nexa previously overwhelmed with his USP. Now he's got the advantage of an M4, but that's oh, no. not going to stop him. Now B's open. A recovered M4. Twist could win this for NIP. He's at least got them the space to get the bomb down. A great last second pivot has given them space, and now the util gets dropped. I can't believe it. G2, probably the same, scratching their head. They cannot afford to lose this round. This was theirs for the taking, especially with Kenny confirming that frag onto Plopsky. Oh man, I'm a little nervous here. You can see the same kind of movement from the CTs and oh, Nork and no. Twist getting the frags, doing them dirty. Hampus keeps him distracted. He drives him wide, he's got him low and finished off Twist with a quad kill. He was set up for his success from his squad, but NIP turned that round completely on its head. And G2, that's an unforgivable loss. Yeah, remarkable stuff there from NIP to have a shot in that round, considering how poorly was it Nexa started unprepared? for them. Was like, unprepared? Like, or was that just a great, just a MAC-10 burst? I'm not quite sure why he had left the site so much. I guess he bit down on the fact that it was going to be the A rotating over towards middle to try and help on out, and he left a gap. And the fact that they didn't have head armor on three out of the five players on the G2 Esports CT side meant that that MAC-10 could shred heads, and there you go, a bit of a smile from Twist. And we have one lonely fan on the fan cam, so join him. Get on in there. IEM.GG slash fan cam. You know where to go, you know where to be. So I've just received word. It sounds like we've got a uh, unpredictable, unforeseen technical issue. And so we'll be taking a break to resolve it. It sounds like the fact that we're taking a break implies you've got time to go ahead and tell your friends to join the stream, grab a snack and hydrate yourselves. We'll be back when we can. G2 NIP only just beginning. That we're tied up And I submit it My tears dried up This story's over We're getting older We're never sober I'm so hungover But inside I know There's still a light That keeps us together And there is no thing I would rather have Together with our reliance It shouldn't be rocket science hey, If I'm being honest We're just feeling lost inside Baby, I know that I fucked up But hear me out just a minute I'll say what's up We can't be broken by words unspoken Our life's an ocean, but right now it's frozen But inside I know there's still a light That keeps us together and there is no thing I would rather have Together with our reliance 
science It shouldn't be rocket science hey, If I'm being honest We're just feeling lost inside
Looks like we've got all of the nastiness out of the system. We can get into the action, and I appreciate all of your patience. We, uh, too, have been hotly anticipating the G2 NIP affair. Now, it starts on NIP's pick of Vertigo, and I'm not only excited to see how far NIP's Vertigo has come, but also to see G2, a map that actually, at one point, they were considered to be leaders upon, uh, forging some of the uh, aggressive control of ramp we've seen CTs take. Kenny S orping it, of course, T-Side setting up those constant, relentless A takes. Well, that'll be for the second half. Myself and Chad Birchill hanging out here for the first. Just one thing that I want to make sure doesn't happen today, and that's G2's performance in Blast was not a fluke. It wasn't just the honeymoon right. period coming to fruition. I want to make sure that they stay competitive. Now, whether or not they beat NIP, that's another question, but we don't want to see them getting blown out of the water here today. As we look to get back underway, it will just be G2 down to these pistols, and they've lost to two massive rounds to Nork, and then Twist, well, yeah, it's a huge impact on that B-bomb site, count, catching Nexa out of position to help put round number four. So you've got to break through the Cousins to break ramp. Yeah, that's quite the duo to have. I'm curious now because the language has shifted from primarily French to potentially primarily Serbian. And, uh, well, Nork's found an... Big opening kill onto Hunter. So this should just be a clean round for NIP now as they continue their ascent up the ramp. Utility now being expended over towards Sandbag. Nobody's home. The one-way smoke dropping on out, and that's with roughly 45 seconds on the clock. So this is going to get difficult for NIP if they go too slowly here, but look at all their utility. They have yeah. so many nades. Kenny's position is counting on them not swinging short, which is exactly what Twist plans to do. It's a question of how deep and, how, and when he chooses to swing, and that's the end of Kenny S. At least it should be. Yep, knocked off his perch and going for a backflip, trying to touch his toes to the floor. Next to the B defender, just being kept honest by Hampus. It'd be good if he could hunt him down and get the deagle kill. It would put an AK into his hands, and that's the shot he needed to hit. There we go. So now the save feels all the more potent. Not only is it a deagle and a kit from Jax, it's an AK, Kevlar vest, and smoke. It will be that max loss bonus, so they will be able to buy Nico there. Operating with the lowest amount, 1950. We got a nice cash, in, cash injection of 3,400. That is a juicy one. But while we let this round simmer on out to its logical conclusion, I'm going to bring in our man, Rush. Hello? Who, me? You tried any of the dinner? Uh, no, I've not seen it yet. It's goose. No way. It is. Have you ever had goose before? I don't think I've ever had goose. No, me either. I just tried it. It's not... It, it, nothing like chicken. Is it like duck? Because I love duck. I don't. I'm not really a big duck fan either. I don't know what ducks like. Oh, it's I like love a game. duck. It's, it's very gamey. It's very gamey. It's a I've very had a tasty bite. That's, chicken. That's probably going to be it. So oh, I'll check it out after this. Very anti goose. Yeah. Sorry, duck, tell duck you, goose. I did have a pigeon once. Oh yeah. It was like fancy pigeon. It was my, what birth, was his name? my birthday dinner. Uh, I went to go and have some, you know, it's pretentious something something, but it had pigeon in it or whatever, and it had shot in it. Like I actually chewed little bits of shotgun pellets that were left oh. left in the meat. Oh. Yeah, it, was, oh, it, caught, me, it nice. caught me off guard. Really put me off pigeon for the rest of my life. Oh no! Not the birds. I mean, I don't mind them. I just probably the flesh. I'll oh. leave that for now. They're like the rats of the sky. Literally, aren't they? they are the same thing. I'm not in denial. You can all get over yourselves. Vegans so around the world right all now in turmoil. The same. Uh, my sister is a 
fair weather vegetarian and vegan. <laughs> so I'm not here to comp complain. Ah, that's a deep nade into the forklift room with a bit of damage. And Kenny now, batter up. Can he find any orb kills? That would be the bomb if he hunts Rez on his own. Ooh, that's a nasty miss. Jags, you got to bail him out. It is something. The fact that he confirms the bomb's mid and he slows them down with a frag is a dream. Still awkward to be losing your AWPer so early into the piece. And you can see this jump peek. It, do it doesn't leave much to the imagination for the tease. You know when you've been spotted, just a quick flash on those sandbags is enough. I do like seeing the way teams find new ways to jump for info safely. Your banana jumps, you've seen so many variations of them over the years. Trying to find the safest one. B-Apps, another in a barrage. Well, that's segregated them. A couple of steps might be heard. They want to re-aggress on this. Yeah, but... Hampus was not ready for that. It was Nork, excuse me, but gets caught by Hunter and traded. Flopsky was responsible for the swing, and nico has been spotted. He could get swung on. This is an aim test for Nico, and the molly was enough. It caused him to faff with his nades, and now they can get that bomb down. Jax and Nexa. Jax is working on the flank. If he was to find Plopsky early, they really do have a way into this. That's the info Plopsky wanted. Hello. What a dream. They might have to save right they might. now. Not too many options. They're flashing and actually getting ready for the fight. Well, we can see Nexa with the X-ray above Jax. And yeah, they're going to call this one off. Nexa has no way back in through that elevator room smoke. And Jax up the ladder. That signals the fact that it will be the sixth round on the board for NIP. And I am loving this from the Ninjas. We came in here with all the hype around G2. More teams doing six-man rosters. More teams experimenting. And with a massive signing like Nico. Well, of course, that's where the hype's going to be. The Ninjas haven't impressed in recent tournaments and now is their chance to do exactly that all the eyes are on this one for the aforementioned reasons but if nip can knock them off that perch it'd be a fantastic victory now if you've been missing the nip train this year you've missed a couple of big roster shifts over the days it was the legendary roster that you might remember if you're a counter-strike fan back within the 2013 2014s the forest the get rides the freibergs they've all moved on and now we're looking to the stars of this team to be the norks the plopskis the young gamers, you've got Rez, who is a veteran of this team with Twist, and Hampus, who's been the last man brought in to be the in-game leader, actually replace, replacing Lecro. So well handled here, NIP. And if you want to take a couple of notes of what they're doing is they are doing their default towards middle. They're doing their default towards B. That's applying pressure, forcing out rotations, and meaning a lot of utility that gets dumped towards A ramp within the early stages will be weighted on out. And then as they go to re-execute, it's just the guns. So you can see there Hunter having to play forward. Nico wanting to take some fights as well. They don't have those same crowd control nades. So if NIP don't go into quicker approaches towards A, they can make sure that G2 and their superstars are unable to play heads up Counter-Strike. But G2 with the saved guns will be opting to half buy. You can see investments from most of the players on the team. Light utility, light pistols, and the AWP and AK-47 from the previous. I refuse to lose faith in at least a competitive G2. They go for the strafe. I like it. It doesn't really succeed in finding anything, but it's cool. Points all the same. And the second boost is likely pre-aimed. I don't know if Nex is ready for it, though. In fact, as he drops his smoke on the jiggle, he might not be. Yeah, that's a perfect O3 toggle. Let's see what he works with. Okay, so he actually just drops the smoke as the flash blooms, but now his smoke's a bit... Skew whiff. Can he peek over it? Of course he can. Spots one quad. He knows Hampus has slipped the net. Bomb's there too. Is there going to be a flash? Smoke doesn't, fading's a problem. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, Nex is going to have to reposition off this. Loses his power from his smoke. Nico's caught Plopsky. That was the A lurk. Here comes the Molly. Forces Nexa back out of the site. And that is Hampus. A colossal opening frag. Now looking to lock down the bomb plant. And he has to fight. He's trapped. Can't seem to catch a timing on these NIP players. And Hampus has pushed up. He's taken down Kenny. There's so many gaps. G2 have been unable to defend B completely and totally. And this is not for the first time either. They got a smoke for construction. It's balling. Out of control. What can you do? You have to save again. I know, but you don't want to. You really don't want to be letting a seventh appear without feeling like you put a good foot forward. But that is the cruel reality. And thanks to the decision making of NIP, they've got here. They're charging in a last second push. And that's a huge find. Hunter onto Hampus. A second as well, at least doing some economical damage. 
And I think they might There's a kit. just have time. Look at the oh. cousins strafing in in perfect unison. Do they have it? Pretty close. I can't believe it. Oh. You two are given a gift. It's Hunter and Nico. Just the two of them. Hunter gets the credit. Quad kill from him. Late arrival to the site. I thought G2 had given up. Yeah, it felt like with all that utility being used from NIP, they thought they had won the round. So, look at the timer on the bomb here. They need to find that last player. He happened to be on the site. Oh, Hunter gets all of the jewels he desired. Rez didn't even have to fight there. This is no. why it's so janky. I, I think the thought process coming through from the NIP camp was, yeah, they're just trying to do economical damage, and they've actually given up a round. So that's a bit of a brain fade moment. Let's see if NIP can bounce back as we get that early utility and Hunter pushing forward, trying to do his best Aminette cosplay, but he's not in the server today as Plopsky takes him down. And we might just slow down here as G2 have lost an opening frag. NIP have intent right now to continue the pressure towards A, clearing out towards the sandbag position. That Molotov will signal a little bit more intent as Nico and Kenny, they're the only two defenders over towards A right now. Jackson next are hunting towards middle. They're going for an info play on the other side of the map. Nico's got the wall bangs. Brings Rez down very low. Oh, that's horrible for Nico. How did the sound cue happen after the smoke? Molly was behind him, so there's actually a second Molly that was dropped. Oh, that got him. Booked him. Now G2 operating with just three. NIP straight back into the full AXX. The Molly's good, but would be wasted had he dropped it there. So Kenny, good judgment. He does need to pop up and find one though. It's all about timing. He knows he'll likely be pre-aimed. The molly onto the default plant is important. That's a good timing for it. That is a really good timing for it. They will have to cancel. That was the frag he needed. He gets traded. And now another smoke and another nade. Maybe with a combined with a spray. No, Jax can't do anything. Nade does perhaps dunk on another, but so many targets, so little time. Healthy Nork is the one to plant. Nate does nothing. Twist does go down. Maybe Nexa could free fire the after plant positions. He's got another. And despite his best intentions, it's not enough. Seven found by NIP, and they send G2 straight back to the starting blocks. They have enough to buy because of that limp in investment in round number eight, where they actually converted. So warning bells are not being signaled just yet for G2, but they're losing a lot of these early jewels. And if you keep giving up entries, if you keep giving up space as well, you're going to get whittled down because NIP, remember when they were on their climb? We were loving the fact in the early stages of this year where they were doing the retake smokes on Vertigo, doing the CT side, uh, dropping them towards the ramp and really making teams work for it. Well, now they're using the utility just as well on the T side, constantly peppering away, taking control of the map, and then they're not even rushing the plants, which is giving G2 less interactions to be able to unravel in the chaos. Staying cool, calm, and collected are NIP now. And Hampus leading the charge. We'll be looking for entries towards the B bomb site, mantling on up around the outside here of the staircase. A bit of a tightrope. Sees where that flash has come from. And Nex has actually opted to go from the quad position back over towards the site. And now the nade is perfect. Look at this. Nex has to dodge that one. Okay, I can't help but feel that this is an NIP that are showing absolutely no willingness to succumb. You wanted to see it. I'm glad defense. we are. Yeah, it should be fair. Relatively absent. After they're showing over in, uh, was it Cologne? Yeah, Cologne, they came third, fourth. The yeah. tournament since then, they haven't had a podium. So chasing that dragon again. That's a one way. Hunter's actually going to use it to hide. I like it. I like it a lot. Completely tucked into that. Oh, his toe was visible. Very minimal. When does he choose to fight, though? So many sound cues. His teammates are doing a lot of the heavy lifting. It's got about to fade. They've just completely ignored him. And that is the power of the position. Denies the plant. And now NIP working with just two. If Twist continues to pop off, though, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh. That's a great shot. He's already given him space. And another... How do NIP have 12 smokes every round? Every time, another smoke drops. Doing? And yeah, Jack's trying to swing in on the bomb plant. Kenny does well, but Nork's in a position to win it. He's been peppering him with orc bullets, and now he's anticipating the Kenny push. No smoke. Sound cue's made. And peeks into him. Nork seals the deal. They're taking it in turns to be the hero. First twist. Now Nork. That's three clutches for Nork in nine rounds played. You're right. The first two rounds he clutched up for them on A. He's come to play today. 12 kills. Look at Nork go. He actually took a little bit of time off. Had a bit of a, a break before burnout crept up on him. 
NIP benched him for a short period of time and had threat stand in. And well, now he's back with a vengeance. Nork looking hot to trot. And 8 1. This is not the way I thought this would be going whatsoever. Down to the pistols, G2 again. UMP for Hunter, and that's on the high end. The rest is just the Deagles. There's Light Kevlar, Kenny saving money for an AWP. But this is getting dire at this stage. They've lost the half. It's now damage control. How many can they avoid losing? Cruel state of affairs. Oh, he flubbed his smoke there, so now it's twist time to try and throw the exact same one. You can see them. All right, welcome to the smoke tutorials with Twist. I think he has to wait for it to clear. It's actually obscured the lineup, so this <laughs> is a little bit Jack's awkward. Imagine if Jax peeks in when he starts lining it up. Uh, There's a universe. It's not this one, but there is a universe. Hey, Hampus, come cover me, mate. You're the in-game leader. You're meant to be able to throw the smokes. Okay, he set himself up. Thank you, thank so, you. There we have it. Well, that's easy. That is easy, and that's going to be elevator side. So they're taking mid and... Oh, wow. oh my God, that's scary. See how little he oh. saw? Double nade, Nico dunked. Hunter holds his nerve. Revenge will come a little later. There's the double with the UMP. An equalizing double frag, and he needs a third. Even oh. finds Twist trying to mantle on the box for the element of surprise. It's not converted. Jax then knows Twist is behind him. And but from oh, CT what? spawn, Jax gets it. That must have been a 180. I assumed Hampus had the spray. Now he's punting for Twist, and he's managed to bait it with the shoulder. Knows this presence, recovering a rifle. And the bomb down on A. It's certainly not out of the realms of possibility. He jacks, though. He's found Twist. He needs this. Trying to flash out Nork. He's holding the line. Flashes him off and hunting him. Jax is doing it. Oh, oh no, no Jax! Sketchy spray! Oh! <laughs> Oh, that one. That one is going to be uh, around you. You're, you're haunted by uh, at night. He's not going to be able to close his eyes tonight. I want to see that Deagle shot. I mean, it started with such an adrenaline injection. That was nuts. It's I, just I, to his veins, man. I have no idea how he hit that banger. That right there is a crazy shot. And I think out of the five kills he has so far, three of them have been Deagle one bullets. So, look, he's getting impact, but it's not enough. The oh, dude, nine seeing to one. the head and having it so close, he is going to be kicking himself. So he was... Course. Wait, it was to Nork again, Alex. Damn, dude. And Nork wins a fourth, fifth, fifth, <laughs> well, one. He's done another one. As if he needs more. Look at Hampers there. I'd be shell shocked with that. This is the follow up and Jack Smith. I, Nork saved the day. Oh. oh, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely an advantage for Jack's in the duel, but it's always a duel. All right. Well, NIP, how many more are we looking at for this T sided bag? Nine is beautiful. Yeah, that's, their, their bag is swollen. They're actually asking for some help to carry that up the stairs. It's getting absurd. Anything more that they get here, you're going to be very, very happy with. And uh, Vertigo is a map where NIP can really refine a lot of what Threat brings to the table. Well-refined anti-ecos, good utility usage, understanding how to punish on those rotations. And they're adding a bit of flair of Hampus into the mix on some of these other rounds. But this is aggression this time from G2. Nico, he's stuck out behind the smoke here. This, this is the timing on this. Plopsky's being very naughty. You can't wallbang that, by the way. So. Oh, he might see him here. Plopsky could catch the side of him. Yeah, but he can't wallbang it, he says, as he wallbangs it. I think he just went through the, uh, the lip. Gets the head. Kenny, in the meantime, stops that B presence. NIP are a very intimidating T side to watch. So much util. It's very suffocating. All of your default angles will be denied before they commit. Hello, Jax. That's not where a CT starts. He's covered some ground. So they will be able to, I'd assume, gamble. At what point does... Kenny start to support. I'd be fed up for playing retake. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Contest. I mean, they'll just throw a smoke and plant in it. Oh, they're going to do it. Yeah, G2. This time a fake. Doesn't pull out the stack nades that they thought they were holding on to. He backs right out of the site. Are they actually leaving? It looks like they're going B. This is where Jax comes in. Oh my god, Jax. Almost able to lock that down, but now the avenue's open and Hampus has cut off the rotations. Hampus is going to win the round with his positioning. That's one, oh, that's, that's two, huge. and that's the round. Just like that, Hunter completely disconnected. And I thought 
I thought it was NIP making it so clear they were going eight. They even convinced me, Chad. Alex, they went onto the bomb site and fake planted. And then went B. I don't think I've seen that before. Like on any map of Counter-Strike. Like think of a map where that would be possible. Fake plant A. Plant Run to B. the other bomb site. I'd, I'd like to be able to watch that just through, like, do you have a skybox running? Uh, I should be able to bring it up. Just so we can look at the, pay, like, the pacing oh, of the CT. Oh, no, they oh, changed server. Oh, they, they did. That's right. Okay. Well, for, can, you, can you get a run in for the rest? Or no, because you need the IP uh, and all that jibbly wibbly. I'll have to try and reconnect and stuff. Give me a moment. Yeah, do your thing, bro. Okay, so G2, if you just joined us, are struggling under the thumb of NIP. And this round was theirs for the taking. A nice pivot, though, a fake plant into a B-rotate double kill from Hampus, who is continuing to be an in-game leader that can frag. Check this out. Desperately trying to, in 19 seconds left, realize it's dead silent on A. And holding construction, he lingered. I would be so angry. Like, I, I can't even put into words yeah. how mentally taxing that is. They were on the bomb site. We yes. gave them the site, and then they still were able to rotate back and get through Jenks, who was meant to be locking them down. That is insane. It was Kenny solo B that round, so when he rotated off, they timed it to perfection. Jax, hard to hit. And that smoke enables him to hold control for longer than he otherwise would have, I say, as he gets hit through the smoke, so maybe not. He goes taking a gamble as well. There's two smokes on that ramp and they're about to fade. He does manage to evade the uh, scope of Nork. I say that with bated breath. He's got a nade with Nork's name on it. Bonk, not enough. G2 look lost here. Yeah, they're completely out of their depth. And sure, it's only been a short amount of time since Nico's joined the team. Sure, this is their debut in an official with Jax, but I was expecting a bit more punch out of them on any map. Give them a T side, but here on the CT, they just uh, they can't keep up with the NIP game. They've got so many different looks that you cannot pinpoint what you're about to have thrown at you. You just can't. Okay, smoke's on the site, but are they going B? <laughs> I mean, let's find out. Let's look for answers. And Deagle shots. Nork's holding the Jiggle, and Nico does go down, but when there's smoke, there's fire, and Hunter's gone as well. Hampus is great. I'm sorry, Nork is great today. Absolutely I mean, to see fantastic. him back in the roster, I think, you know, it is probably worth mentioning and probably doing a bit of a disservice to my NIP storyline by not highlighting that when they did fall off a cliff and disappear for a little bit, it also synchronized with Nork taking medical leave. Yeah, uh, and that was NIP trying to get in front of the problem to make sure that burnout, which is affecting so many players at the moment, didn't creep in and sideline him for a longer period of time. So I, I think that that's a very wise maneuver. It's a bit of a shame that not all of the teams are really operating with... Uh, it doesn't have to be a six-man in the way. Vitality Look how fresh-faced and bushy-tailed he's coming come to the he server. He is looking good. He is looking very good today. Wow, that PC's wall-mounted? No, wait, that's not, that's not a computer, Alex. That's just a box of wires. Probably like a security box or something. I want A wire box. It's where he keeps all his wires. I want to look at that closer. Because this game, there's not a whole lot to <laughs> analyze right now. 11 oh. to 1. NIP looking phenomenal on their map pick. G2. The last couple would be great. Oh, they're going for the Hail Mary here. It's getting worse. Yeah. Popsky's beaten Hunter in that duel several times. He goes ignored it. Oh, good find. Acknowledging the uh, ramp aggress. Look at the gap. If Popsky wanted to re-aggress up through the alley position, or short to A as it were, he would have had some room. Now Nico's taken that back, but they've done a good job at this. So uh, at this point, you wouldn't expect only two members to be postured forward. They have to get ready to cover some gaps. And now NIP, well, they're covering their ass, making sure that flanks haven't come on through from B or middle. What's your bet in Nork is about to pick Nexa off on B? Now, he's been having a real nightmare. And that smoke will buy him time. Is that going to cover off what he hoped to cover off? I don't think it has. It's on the staircase, but they can walk out all the same. I would play into the smoke. Use that to shroud you. Get a little yeah, bit it's closer like and flash and go. Set up and go. Yeah, not bad. They're going to boost instead. Twist finding jazz. Ah, oh, it's a nightmare. That was an even 4v4 courtesy of Nico. It's gone now. And they're set up for the B explosion. From nothing to everything. Klopsky will poke his head over. His own discretion. Start to advance. With just 12 HP. And Rez, oh, he gets the better of Nexa. A bit too shaky on the spray. Oh, my Lord. Rez is sharp tonight. He's taken down an Orpa. Peeked into it, no less. Left eye straight. Good find from Nico, but it's just... It's just stat padding. 
Oh dear. Look, I, I was going to say five they could operate with, but now the best they can do is three. And I don't want to completely lose faith because they have an opportunity to do the same thing on their T side, but I imagine that they have a lot more flux built into their gameplay G2 than what we're seeing from NIP. And that's not to mean that NIP aren't taking risks. They're sending Plopscale for entry kills. He's just converting a lot more. G2 individuals haven't really had a chance to warm into this. Let's look at the kills. Next is only on three frags. And Nico, your star import, he's not operating with too many either. It's really just been Hunter. And Hunter was the key. Four frags of his 12 were on the only round that they were able to win so far in map number one. Now, with how well handled this is for NIP and how nice that shot was from Rez, I think this one here may be a quick map number one. But if you're watching at home and you're like, oh man, I was getting hyped for G2, I was waving my Nico flag, everything was cool, I had my jersey on. Well, Mirage is next, and that's not a great map for NIP. Their last loss was a 16-4 to Na'Vi. So with Mirage's map number two, let's not lose hope just yet, but if they start that map, anything like this one's gone. Oh, I'd be terrified if I'm next. They're like, oh, here they go. It's a B take, and that's exactly what we wanted to see, a double deagle all the way. Doesn't necessarily mean it's around though. They'll re-smoke. Molly construction, it's a perfect set of util. Actually, yeah, Nico has to respect it. And they get to plant completely scot-free. It is gonna be the Hunter and Nico duo that did win the only round G2 have won. On the B site, no less, with a late retake. So perhaps there's grounds. History repeats itself. So Molly has faded. Maybe Nico finally gets to come back to construction, but they've pushed up on that now. It's a good, powerful position from Nork. And he's already found Nico. 17 frags. The dude is just having no issues. There has been no duel proven too difficult for Nork, AK, or regardless. He is having a walk in the park tonight here on Vertigo. And his hunt will not bear fruit. Yeah, AK recovered for Hunter. Does he actually no way. really want to force the issue? He does. Oh, no. Nork's got $16,000 to spend. <laughs> and they have 13 rounds. So this is almost a perf perfect half here from NIP. And I think uh, that round that they lost, they actually gave that to G2 by assuming they were going to be saving. So all in all, you could say that this is almost flawless. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd even struggle or grimace when those words left my lips. Final round, second map. Oh, sorry, second series. And then NIP's pick. Now, this is where, and, and this isn't just because, you know, uh, I, I want to see an ab absolute domination. I want to see, oh, they did the run boost again. Yeah, just, it, just as part of their routine. Yeah, all right. Uh, Rez, you're going to go to the circus and show us your tricks. Nade towards Nexa, cop that. Ooh, only one damage, so he's been able to backpedal and get out of dodge, but the pressure applied to him has forced a rotation. You can see Jax has left middle. He's had to play over towards B. They're playing a 2-2 setup now with Kenny and Flux towards middle with the AWP, a fast rotation through the elevator room. But guess where they're heading? Back towards <laughs> A. All right, then. They've mollied this every single time. Is Nico planning to smoke it? Or are they just counting on the one time NIP played contact into A? Ox looking at it. He's trained on it. Just the death and oh, oh, oh. destruction. Heartbreak. Oh, oh. Throw in the towel. Yeah, the yeah, cousins it's over. are getting bullied. Someone call the family. This is not fair. Grandma, they're being mean. They, they walked up contact. They're picking on us. In the side of their head. I was holding short. That was my responsibility, man. Oh, oh, oh yikes. And then Plopsky only has the bloody audacity to check me afterwards. <laughs> then he checks sandbags after disrespecting on my name. I'm absolutely blown away. Pops him back at the ace here, yeah, why not? Give it to him, finally he's gone down. Jack silences him and with no HP, there is very little avenues into the round, no time. Kenny's just trying to find something just to feel good, just to get that AWP flowing and he's just walked into the crosshair of Twist. Well. These pajamaed ninjas woke up on the right side of bed. It's 14 to one and the new G2 looking lost.
part-time jobs Chasing all my dreams up lately No matter if I try too hard Nothing's ever enough, baby No, I don't care too much I don't care too much As long as I can keep you by my side I don't care too much We got time, no rush In your eyes I So last time I counted to 15, Chad, 14 was the number that came, uh, well, just before 15, right? Yeah. And 16 is the magic number. Yeah. So NIP coming into the second half at 14 certainly does imply that they're nearly there. One would assume that, and I feel it's pretty safe to do so. And I think if they get this pissed around, Alex, uh, as cliche as it may be, <coughs> they're probably going Stick to a fork uh, in it. convert the game. Yeah, put it in the oven. As uh, we're getting underway here, and as you can see, the odds, I should assume this is for the series, haven't completely written G2 off just yet. I'm going to take them out of contention for map number one. Yeah, and I mean, Mirage being their pick, I certainly do think it will be a very different looking game of Counter-Strike. I don't think you'll feel this level of wrath from the Ninjas. This is obviously their turf, and obviously uh, a little bit of an unfamiliar one for a newer roster. Admittedly, integrating one new player isn't a new roster. Just just justifying my vocabulary there. And as the Molotov fades, that was practically scientific. They start to swing and pressure onto Rez. The swing coming in from CT and oh, every headshot hits. G2 just win it straight on aim jewels. And well, they'll take that, trying to soften the blow of what was the first half. And if there was to be a comeback, a crazy comeback for us to talk about for many days and if not years to come, it would start with a pistol round. Yeah, if they're able to bring this back, I'm going to be hugely impressed because it's difficult to do so on a map like Vertigo. You just need to lose one, you know, multi-frag round in a choke point, and that's probably all she wrote. As we take a look, NIP, they like to go for these partial investments. Plopsky's, Plopsky's the only one who's fully bought in with the MP9 and the Kevlar. Everyone else has left himself around $700. And this means that they can go for two partials in back-to-back -back rounds, but pushing forward will be Hampus. Rez ready to flash him in. You can see this lineup. Very, very simple stuff. Pop and away she goes. And Forklift Room is under the remit of the CTs. This is a great start. Hampus, how far do you really want to push the issue? Just feels like a very foreboding feeling for Hampus. 
He's hoping to catch the first as they walk in and then start spamming. Well, that wasn't the head he hoped for, but he does get the one. That's Jack's gone, and that's the equalizer. They had to work hard for that control, and now you can see Rez was considering a ramp smoke. Maybe it's better used on short. That's the bloom. So it does look like it will be an A finish. 40 seconds left. Smoke's up now towards the site. Nico just controlling the rotations. If his teammates go down before they plant the bomb, Nico's left completely Got double helpless. nades, dude. They can deny the plan. Oh my god, no. And Nico's gone down. Now the bomb plant itself becomes a question mark. That's Nexus' responsibility. He's planting safe. They don't have nades. They do. 50. 20. He gets the bomb down and gets away. Oh no. I spoke too soon. Not a smoke shot from Nork. And G2, what was supposed to be a guaranteed conversion, thanks to Plopsky's drive-by on Nico, has become very awkward. They already know where Kenny is and Hunter. They know where both of them are. Now it's just a question of execution. What are you made of, Kenny? Evade the flash. Hunter, pressure onto Nork. Good stuff. Need another from Kenny fast before he gets overwhelmed. That's the chance. Yeah, He's running out of chance. And yeah, the route itself seems like a guarantee as he converts onto a third. Good damage in the end from Hunter, but it's all NIP's day. They managed to make it a 1v1. Doesn't get better than that for what was just that consolidated second round force. Okay, well, this is where they get to do the Deagles yet again because of that partial investment. And Plopsky, even with a frag here, means that he has a little bit of extra cash to operate with after going all in. But next, look at this. Trying to just get away from the side. The guy can't even run away. Give him a chance. As Hunter will have to clutch that one out in the end. And time was the real drama. The real villain for NIP in the second round of play, but we're back underway. And Nexus already found Rez. Damage already done to Hampus. Well, that's a good start. Wouldn't be complaining with how this one's kicked off. And how it's continued. Hunter onto Nork and should be buttoned up the fourth round here for G2. There's only three more to find. Mainly SMGs for G2 Esports. Now, I assume Nork's going to bring out the AWP in the first gun round. He has enough money to do so. And I guess a big question as we see Hunter mop up a couple more kills here. Hampus making this threatening. Hold up a minute. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here, G2. You haven't won the round just yet. They've lost their hardest hitter in Hunter. This would be a difficult round to lose. Yeah. I mean, a smoke onto the uh, retake does make me a little nervous. Good nade. Hampus is going to eat that. Oh. Oh, wow, that was like a 66 damage nade. <laughs> What the you hell? There? One minute you're gone. Yeah, it just evaporates. Well, at least this one's clean, he says, and another <laughs> frag goes away. The only round they've had that's clean was the pistol in this yeah, second half. I think true. everything else has just been... A shambles. Ooh. I mean, that is a 3-0 start, and it's it's what they required. This, however, is the test. It's going to be double AWP. Oh, okay. Well, G2 as well, because they sustained so many losses in those previous rounds, have opted to go for four AK-47s and the AWP for Kenny as well. So this is a full buy for both squads. If NIP lose this round, it's very costly to buy in with the two orbs, so we might not see them. Oh, they're faking a fast A. Yeah, and Hunter's going to be the main component in selling it, but Hampus has already denied it. Ah, oh, and so Plopsky, what an angle. And look what it's given oh. him. Oh, he unloads into the boxes. They're so low, he wants to dunk them. The nade does manage to find its mark, but he's gone too. And now G2, they're battered, bruised. These wounded warriors not going to make it past the first hurdle. Jumping to do evade. Good choice. Double AWP. Twist trying to use his barrel to confirm that location. He actually hit the no scope. Yeah, Kenny's softened up by Twist. And finished off by Rez. That is the beginning of the NIP Vertigo win. And Alex, look at what sustaining all of those losses on the anti-eco rounds has done to the money for G2 in the final round of play. Because they were able to post those three on the board, it meant that their loss bonus remained at 1,400. So anybody who was operating with very little at the end of round number 19 is operating with basically nothing in round 20. Tech nines. Nexa has a Glock, Alex. He has a Glock for That's, the final round of play. That is a viable weapon, Chad. Just have to shoot them a couple more times in the head. Jax is very low. Oh, could go down. It's Nork that actually finishes him off prior to any explosive devices being deployed and feels like, oopsie. 
Bobski's not really ready for this, and his nades indicate a sense of panic. But as the smoke blooms, the run boost. They go over Blobsky's head. He reacts nicely. Rez is working on the flank. We are done with Vertigo. A flawless round to finish it, and practically a flawless.